Hey guys, just gonna put this out as I'm gonna be out all day after three and then I won't be back until tomorrow daytime. So I'm gonna put this out now for your double header Sundays. So results have been going alright apart from that last one. So we won five one. We beat Middlesbrough in the FA Cup three two. And then we went to lose to Forest Green. And that ended our eight-game unbeaten run in the league. We're still in and around the automatics. So we just need to keep getting good results. Beat the teams around us. Then I think we can get automatic promotion. If not, playoffs will have to do, but... I'd prefer automatics, because then we'd just go straight up without having to play any more games to try and get up. So, yeah, that's what's happened, because I play four games all together, one on camera and then three off camera to speed up the season a bit. So I don't play it apart from the days when I do um this for the channel. Um... So I don't think the gameplay is that good, so I just um play it for the channel. Um So yeah, we're third as you see. With a game in hand though. So if we win we go two points clear of Sheffield Wednesday. So yeah, we play Wickham today. So where are they in the league? They are Ah, oh, they're sixth. Okay, this is going to be a tough match. Thanks, guys. We're going to get started with the questions now. I'll show you it don't have any background music. Let's go through this. I'm trying to keep okay, the guys, confidence we high. Because then... So I want to see also who we'd be playing in the cup. Who we got in the FA Cup. Sheffield United. Ooh. That's going to be tough. That is going to be tough. Oh, Spurs will go through. Chelsea. Wolves. Fulham. That could go either way. I'll say Newcastle. Yeah, so uh, we got quite a bit for advancing. We got a hundred thousand prize money, so that's not bad, not bad at all. So no changes, still the same team. Um, there is one player in my youth academy. I'll show you after. I'll show you him now because I don't. Sure, I don't. Um, Show the press conference after because it plays music in the background. There is one youth player who's nearly ready to be called up. His name's Tyler Bradley. As you see, his long shots are decent. His shot power's all right. His short passing's decent. His crossing's decent. I want to get his shot power between 65 to 70. And he's finishing 55 to 60. Then I'll call him up. I want him. I want to call him up when I know he can make a difference and he's good enough to make a difference. That's the thing. I won't call anyone up unless I think they're ready to be a part of my squad. Um, so he'd be a good winger, and he can play left wing or right wing. So say if. One of these are ready. He can play on the right, left or right. And he's 15, so... I want him to develop a bit more. Then I'll start him. None of these strikers are ready just right yet. Probably the nearest is Ferreira. Oh no. It's probably Lund. But he needs a bit more development. Um... Yeah, I'm also going to try and get more defensive 
youth players because I've I mean, I've got enough attacking players. I'm going to try and get some good youth defensive players. For me, them kits are too similar. So I'm going to change our kit to away. Yeah, that's better. That clashed too much for me. So we're playing our away kit. And let's get to today's game for your doublehead of Sundays. So can we bounce back from the loot, not Luton, the Forest Green defeat? He's Wick on, kicking off. Oh, good tackle by Golby. Here's Afif to Kalmar. Oh, good tackle by their player. Tough game both in the playoffs. Trying to get promotion back to the Premier Championship. It's been a while since Portsmouth been in the Championship. I'd like them to go back in it because I really like their fans. They're very passionate supporters. I do like them. Um, that's why I wanted to be them because you've got the stadium in the game. And they're a good potential team to... Um, do a save with it will probably just be this and then EA Sports FC will probably do a team in Spain as a few years want me to do that so I will probably do that um, I hope the gameplay is decent and you've gave it away yeah, we need to focus here. But this is going to be a tough game. They've got a lot to play for. You know, they want promotion just as much as us. Great save by our keeper. I'm glad I changed the kits because their colours are very similar to ours. Now, we're on the counter-attack here. Is Afif, who's had a great season... Scored about 12 goals from the wing. Oh, nice finish. Who scored that? Nice flick on. I want to see who scored that. I think it might have been Curtis. Nice finish. Good chip through ball by Afif. Good knockdown. No finish. Just got it past him. And it was Curtis. Oh, it deflected off the defender and in. But I'll take that. So that's his 10th of the season. So Curtis is having a pretty good season. He's chipping in with goals and assists. That's what we want. He's Gorby. He's been a good... Uh, He's been good for us this season. We got him on loan. So. That's what I might need to do in the championship. Because I do think this season we get promotion. Our team's just too good for this league. Um, but. If my budget ain't big enough. Then. When we do go up. Good save. Then I will. Um, I might have to do a few loans, like for the FM save. No. For the FM save with Colorain, who we are as a Northern Ireland team. Now you know. Now I can say it because most of you have probably watched that video. Um, I've had to do about four or five loans. Because I've literally only got like a thousand to two thousand wages to get players, so I have to spend really wisely in wh who I get. Like I got a couple of good young players, 
I've got a couple of really good young players and then some loans just helped me out for the rest of the season because I looked at the team who's favourites to win that league and they've got five oh hit the crossbar which need to keep the ball there is Cavallini to Swanson Cavallini oh hit the crossbar again and now in lucky a wee today is Afif turn shot oh what a save by their keeper and that's it we're uh, yeah so back to what I was saying about the FM save with Collarine that is going to be a very fun job because if we can make them a powerhouse in Ireland like there's a team called I think Lan. I was seen on their squad because I just wanted to see what players they've got good finish by Cavallini um, they've got like five people on loan really good young players from premiership teams and they've got a s stadium capacity smaller than ours they've only got a two and a half thousand stadium we've got a four thousand stadium that's why I took the job because I see potential in that if we can regularly get four thousand people up there supporting you know we that has potential to be a very successful team in that league and my plan is to get good young players I wanted to take for him to take sh touch and then shoot what was that now we need to defend this here Benoon good tackle by Benoon and he's had a good solid season it's a foul on Romo yeah so my plan is to develop the good young players we have and turn them into really good players and then say if we qualify for Europe or try and win more trophies some of them players be ready to play against decent European teams to then for then for us to compete oh I thought that was flowing in the corner then not a bad shot pull it wide but he's had a great season he's too good for this league so yeah that's my plan and we have to see how it goes and yeah we can spend a few seasons there try and win some stuff with them and then skill it out And then uh, go to a bigger league like Germany, Belgium, France. Love to try Brazil, Argentina, maybe MLS. I won't go back to England for a long time. I just want a break from that country. Um, so yeah, I won't be going back there for a while. I just want to try different leagues, what I've not done before. And some of them leagues I've listed, I've never done. I've never done Belgium. I've never done on FM. I've done it on Pez, and it was very fun. Um, I've not done Brazil. I've done Argentina for a few seasons. Um, so, yeah, they're leagues I'd like to try uh, one day on FM. Oh, good ball in. So I think within the next month or two that young player Bradley in the Youth Academy will be ready to step up. Not to start but as a squad player. So but that won't be for a while. We need to get his shooting better. Because my inside forwards I want them to have a good shot on them. To come on and score or come on and create. We'll have to get his crossing better, but he has potential to be great, definitely. Um, 
he could be a player with us potentially for when we are in the Premiership. All right, Rafferty for Swanson, Thompson for Gorby. That will do for now. So where we are kicking off, let's try to um, score a few more, get a goal difference better. Good clearance by them. It's been a good competitive match. Oh, lovely goal by Cavallini. A, fi a, f a fifth with the um, assist. No score by Cavallini. What would we do without him and a fifth? Nice finish. How many has he scored now? What a signing he's been. I want to see how many goals he's scored. Oh, it's not shown. He's scored a lot. Yeah, what... A, that the Canadian international is doing really well for us. Good tackle by Afif. He's Kalmar to Afif. He's Afif now with his pace. What can he do? What was that? That was dreadful. That's the crossing you'd see on FIFA 06 or 07. That was really bad. He's got to do better there than that. Oh no. We've got a defend here. Great save by our keeper. But um, we're two goals in front. We just need to stay composed. And see this out because... I don't want to finish in the playoffs. I want to finish in the top two. And get us out this league. Oh, he's Kalma. He's through. Afif. Oh, nice finish by Afif. Nice assist by Kalma. He's had a good season with loads of assists and goals. So these are the players who I think can step, do pretty good for us in the championship. I think Karl Markan, Afif, Romo and Cavallini and possibly Swanson and Hollander. But some of the other players, we might need to bring some more players in. Good players who will be competitive in that league because it will be a lot harder than this league. It will. And uh, we're going to make some subs in a minute. Because I'm sure people are getting tired. Is Curtis. Switches it to Gallardo. So he can whip in a better ball than Af if he does. Not a bad ball in. Now they're on the counter attack now. Pompey need to. Stay composed here. And see this out. But with three goals in front. So I think we pretty much have won this. But they've caused us a few problems. Um, um, thing you have. Um, just say if uh, Ireland don't want to take me on as national manager for FIFA. Uh, what countries would you want me to be? Um, so yeah the Wales be fun but I will be a national team eventually he's Curtis yeah let's uh, yeah we just need to concentrate here he's Pantadan good interception by Rafferty oh no now Afif's through. Good tackle by their player. I think Afif's had a quiet game. What's that, Curtis? 
All right, let's take some people off. All right, Cavallini for Dovbick. I'm going to take both inside forwards off. So that's three... Well, yeah, five subs. Let's give Hackett and Macau some game time. Both of them will probably be uh, spare players in the championship. Good tackle. Now it's Kalmar, it's Thompson. Oh, come on. Hanlon for them. Yes, yeah, so the next FIFA video will be f Tuesday. Um, I'm going to put this out quickly now. Good clearance. He's Cavallini. To Curtis. Or is Curtis. Oh, good block by their defender. Good clearance to Gallardo. He's a lander to Benoon. Just being patient with our play. He's Gallardo. Oh, good tackle. That's why I have two DMs to protect the bat for. No, you just let that go through your legs. But we're, we're winning anyway, so it don't matter. Yeah, the, the players who's coming on won't have much game time. But it gives the other players a rest. So, yeah. It gives our front three a rest. He's Makara. To Dovbeck. He's Kalmar. Hackett. Nice finish by Hackett. His first touch, and he scores. And that's what we want our squad players to do. Come on and make a difference like that. Good interception. So this would be great for our goal difference. It really will. But even though we're winning 5-1, these have caused us a few problems. It hasn't been an easy match. We've just been very clinical. We've been very clinical in our shooting, which is good. He's hack it. Suck penalty. Oh, lovely ball in. Oh, good catch by the keeper. And great three points. Help our goal difference a lot as well. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Hopefully in the next few months, we get Pompey back into the championship. And then we'll have to sign some good players to be competitive in the championship. So yeah, let me know in the comments who you, a few nation, national teams, who you'd like me to be. Bye for now.